Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now in the last few lectures we we saw a lot of concepts and topics regarding formatting and other examples of doing some programs. In this in this lecture on video, we'll see some we'll see one one feature of do loop uh, that we didn't cover in the past. In this loop, we we in this program we'll be uh, working and uh, looking at examples of uh, working examples of how to use a do loop without a counter variable now in the last in the, in the previous examples and the last few examples you might have seen that a do loop requires a counter variable in this example we'll see how to make a do loop run without a counter variable now what I have here is a small program called a sum underscore digits dot f95 okay the, this is a file and the program name is sum underscore digits it starts here and ends here what this program does as mentioned in the comment it has two parts one it does it finds the number sum of the digits of a positive integer number and then it uh, continuously asks the user to uh, user to guess and uh, input a certain number of positive digits positive numbers in a series of entries and it will count the number of positive entries we put in now if I were to compile this, build this and execute this let me see how the error goes now initially it, ca it finds it finds the sum of the positive digits I mean some of the uh, some of the digits of a positive number so it gives some number like 1, 4, 5, 2 so the sum of the digits is 9 plus 2, 11 plus 1, 12 so it should find so this program calculates the sum and uh, a temporary val val value of a temporary variable each in every instant and then finally gives the number the number is one uh, one the number is 1452 and the sum of the digit is 112 now you have to now what you have to do is that we have to enter a value from now you have to enter a value from 1 to n okay now uh, I, uh, it's n is initially occupied sorry i just made the n here but it doesn't matter let me just give a value like 5 now enter 10 value okay sorry this again should be 5 this again should be 5 anyway let me give the value 5 and minus 9 uh, 4 5 again 9 again 2 again it shows that uh, now that prints that I have entered four positive numbers out of five chances. Okay, this is how the program works. Now uh, let me you know make let me you know uh, walk you guys through. Okay, we have the program name is sum underscore digits. We have the implicit none, and we have five variables in the first three variables in the first line num sum one temp. Okay, and we have three variables n count equals one and one the integer i. Count equals count one equals zero and i. Now in this line, we mentioned to the reader, we, prog we mentioned to the user that we we'll, uh, we are asking for a positive integer and we are reading that value through this variable. Now what I'm doing is that I'm saving this number inside the temp inside a temp inside a variable called as temp. This temp will be under mod modification and I'm uh, initializing some the variable sum one equals zero. Now I have a do loop in which this do loop if it does not have a counter variable like i so this do loop starts here and ends here now let's see what happens inside i gave an if, sta if statement stating that if this temporary variable becomes zero then exit now what does this line mean it means that whenever you get a temporary variable zero okay this entire if statement and this looping statement will terminate and it will come out on the other hand on the other hand if the temporary variable is not equal to zero then the else statement of the if if then the else part of this if if then else statement starts now what happens here is that uh, initially sum is zero and what happens is that this sum gets added with the modulus opera modulus operation of this temp variable with 10 now if we divide a if we divide a number by 10 divide a number by 10 it will give it will give us it will give, uh, give us a reminder reminder and that reminder will actually be the last digit if we divide if we divide a positive integer by 10 it will give us the last digit okay so and this sum one will be the sum of all the the last digits of the number from the from the back now what this temp, temp variable does is that it takes the advan uh, it it gets stored with the actual value of temp divided by 10 now since temp is an integer temp is an integer the truncation the this 
value here will truncate the la will truncate the digits will truncate the de decimal parts and will just store only the remaining parts so suppose if we enter the number say 124 here this will store 4 okay and temp will instead become 1000 uh, sorry if I, if I give a number like 124 the value store 4 will be stored here and in this process the number 124 will become 12 okay and that uh, sum initial sum value and the temp temporary value after the modification will be printed here as simple as that now this loop continues till temp becomes 0 when will temp become 0 it's when the la last digit gets divided by 10 if you have a single digit value and if you divide that by 10 that will ultimately give a fraction which is less than 1 so it will be terminated and temp becomes 0 and when that comes this program the this if statement becomes true and then this exits when this exits this entire do loop is executed uh, is terminated and finally and after that that's the first part and what we do is that we just print the value of sum here okay we print the number and the sum of the digits in this sum when variable here and what we do here is that okay i shouldn't have typed this n but that's okay enter enter uh, n yeah uh, this should be right this should be fine okay now what i do here is that i ask for the user to enter a number between 1 and 10 and this value should be an integer and i guess get it stored from the val from into the variable n okay now what i do is that i print the u tell the user to enter n values of positive and negative n uh, n positive and integer i don't i think i don't need these values okay uh, now enter n positive and negative integers okay now that will get uh, now as and when this happens this loop do loop begins this do loop begins and in this do loop uh, unlike the previous one this starts with the key this starts with an initialization variable sorry an incrementing or an iterating variable i okay and in this loop what i say is that i just you write the print statement and say is enter the i uh, enter the variable i with a colon meaning every time this loop runs it will ask for the first it will ask for the first variable then then second variable third variable and so on uh, depending on the iteration and then what i do is using this read command i read the value read the value and here here comes the interesting part see suppose if this int uh, temporary variable becomes le is less than zero indicating the value is negative okay then what this cy this cycle command gets activated no the cycle keyword gets activated now, what does this cycle keyword does is that it will not allow the remaining part of the program to be executed rather it goes to the first and uh, it uh, goes to the first and restarts the uh, do loop with, a, with an increment in i so it's like uh, whenever you put our cycle what does it does and when that condition occurs whatever that is written below it is completely removed of are completely ignored and goes back to the beginning of the loop in this for loop case in this case it goes to the back to the beginning of the for loop case okay and then well, suppose if you do not enter a post if you enter a positive number then this count variable which is initially count uh, the initial is zero gets incremented by one and this goes on till the n iterations and then finally the value print the statement prints here it says that you have entered count one positive numbers out of n chances so if suppose if you feel like we have to like four enter four positive numbers four positive numbers out of five it will show that you have entered five po four positive numbers out of fi in five chances now to compile this to compile this okay let me open the terminal okay now we just click l uh, let me just clear this up clear the screen up okay if i just press l if i just press ls I have this sum underscore digits and all. Let me just remove this up. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Now I run this. Now I can I can compile this and run this in a single line. G for run uh, sum sample minus O flag and then write uh, let's say digits dot dxe click enter if everything works fine it should it should display it they should give us an executable if i just run this this is dot exe when i click it it just ask me for a positive number let me give a value like seven eight zero zero so this should give a summation of 15 and it runs 
and finally this shows the number starts the uh, 7800 okay and you guys can notice that uh, the temporary variable act, uh, because of the modulus division sorry because of the integer division it just removes one decimal place at a time one decimal place at a time and then some of the digits is 15 as per as per the i mean and it's great okay now i have to enter a number between 1 to 10 let me enter the value say 5 okay now it asked me to print five positive and negative values together so let me give like 7 uh, 8 minus 4 minus 3 and then 2 okay now it shows you yeah, have entered three positive numbers out of five chances and it is true we, uh, 7 is positive 8 is positive 2 is positive whereas minus 4 and minus 3 are negative so what we did is perfectly right okay now this is how uh, this is how you work with uh, cycle and cycle and uh, exit statements and also how to work with uh, a do loop without having a counter variable without having a counter variable now these uh, if you want to work get these done uh, get uh, this cycle and exit statements to work then you definitely need an if statement and that is kind of necessary and man necessary and mandatory and now uh, other than this other, other than this uh, uh, there are there are other uses for cycle and uh, cycle and ex exit you know, I mean depending on application you might have to use them a little differently but this is how a basic thing works I mean it, this might be useful uh, in um, finding uh, finding uh, error values or something of that you may, this might be useful in finding some error values or you know missing some pro some problematic entries and something or this might be this might be useful to you know uh, terminate some program when a wrong, when uh, uh, not not so required not so required key key combination is press or something of that sort okay that depends on your app that depends on your application well uh, that's all I that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial and uh, that thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial bye